Hey everyone and welcome to the channel, my name is Ash and today I'm going to be doing a review for Pretty Girls Rivers. Now this comes to Steam on December the 2nd 2021 so we've got about a week to go until it's out. It's developed by Zoo Corporation and they've been kind enough to give me a uh, pre-release copy to have a play with for this video. Now, if you've seen any of our other videos, we have covered the Pretty Girls franchise before. It's basically a series of games that feature sort of classic puzzle games and mini games and stuff like that. Like the last one we covered, it was like a Pretty Girls version of Breakout, um, where you smash the, bro uh, the blocks as you're, you're playing. And this one is a version of, it's called Rivers, which appears to be a version of uh, Mahjong. Now, it's going to release at $4.99. Uh, it will be in English, Japanese and Chinese. And this is the 13th uh, Pretty Girls title in the series. And they've now sold over 360,000 units to date. So congratulations to them for really great numbers. And on release for the first week uh, until the 8th of December, you can get 20% off. So it'll only be $3.99. So with this game you obviously play this game of rivers and you basically have to clear the board before the time runs out by matching the tokens. Uh, obviously you can match them from opposite each other but you have to have like a clear line uh, otherwise it doesn't let you. You can combo it up uh, which increases your time limit and basically it's all about getting the biggest score while clearing the board. So there's multiple stages to play and each stage consists of four rounds and in the final round uh, as you eliminate the tiles a variety of outfits for the characters chosen are revealed which could be cute, cool or sexy. Um, now <laughs> I have to state this obviously um, just in case anyone's bothered all of the characters are over 18 in this game. And all uh, Bishujo characters are officially licensed. So um, I'm not sure what that is. I'm assuming it's a series. So they license characters in that. Now the game of Rivers itself is basically where, you, like I say, you make pairs of Mahjong tiles. And uh, the more you get them, the bigger combo you get. If you miss them or you try and get ones that can't be connected at a time, it's classed as a miss and it it cuts down your current time limit. Now there's multiple modes, so there's an easy mode uh, which has no time limit and a hint function so beginners can enjoy it as well and then there's obviously hard modes if you want a bit more of a challenge. So there's six characters in this game you can pick each of them have their own variety of stages so some of them have more stages than others as you complete them you unlock more characters for each of them now, there's different characters. Uh, there's Rich, which is uh, feared as a demon king, but despite her title, she's actually a quiet and kind hearted demon girl. The one I'm playing as at the moment is Cecil. Her good looks and shyness give others the impression that she's a bit of a jerk, but inside, she's kind and motherly. There's also uh, Riser, Ren, Cannon, and uh, Ryu, or Ryu. Apologies if I'm butchering how you pronounce them. And they've all got their own different outfits and personalities, etc. And they've, like I say, you unlock extra costumes by completing the levels and the stages. Now, one other thing this game has, uh, on top of the just standard sort of Rivers gameplay, is a dressing room feature, um, which uh, has been featured in other uh, Pretty Girls games in the series. And this one has more uh, functions added to it. So every time you complete a, a stage, you'll get a new costume for a character, which will then be added to the dressing room. Now, if you play as those characters on the normal level, you can pick which costume you want. But the dressing room um, is basically a sort of picture maker. So you can choose the background, you can choose the characters, which costumes they're in, you can change the facial expressions, you can zoom in and out and put them in the right positions and stuff. Um, and with this one you're allowed to have six at a time in so you can get like screen captures and all that if that's your sort of cup of tea of these different um, costumes and characters and all the different sort of expressions. Now the game itself 
you'll get a couple of hours out of it just by playing through all the stages. Uh, it does get harder if you play the harder difficulty. Um, so there is a bit of a challenge there and obviously there's the replayability of going through and getting the higher scores and obviously for those people that are into it unlocking all the costumes for all the characters is a good reason to go through and complete it and just sort of um, it's not a bad game like I say it works pretty well um, the, the, the actual puzzle game of it like the, the matching of the, the Mahjong tiles works really well. I used to play a load of Mahjong on my computer when I was younger because there was like three games I had on this old PC and I used to love Mahjong and, and like the tile matching games so this one it it's, it, it works really well um, it's it's fast paced, it's responsive uh, the game looks great, I love the combo system and stuff like that when the quicker you go the more points you get um, and I really enjoyed that and like I say for those people that like the sort of waifu characters and the kawaii girls, I'm butchering it, I apologise completely, but if you like your, your big bosomed anime ladies etc, um, it's just a, a different skin on that sort of game really, so if you've played any of the pretty girls games before, you know what you're getting in for, it's the same thing but just obviously with a different game, and the actual game itself is pretty solid so I can't complain about that. So if this is something you're interested in, it's out next week. December the 2nd, 2021. It's going to be $4.99 on Steam Store. And for the first week, you can get 20% off until the 8th of December, so it's only $3.99. So, if this is something you like, uh, let us know in the comments. Have you played any of the Pretty Girls games? Is there any of the Pretty Girls games you think we should have a try at that we haven't covered on the store? Um, let us know. Like I say, I'll, I'll play anything and cover anything if um, I'm able to and I have time. And these games, like I say, they're good for a couple of hours just playing the puzzle games. And I'll, I'll play anything me. Like I say, I'm not bothered. So hit that like, hit that subscribe. And we'll see you soon for more videos, everyone. Bye for now.